Hello, I'm Six Holo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this Tuesday shave. Today's razor is the most expensive razor I've bought so far. It's this one. It's the Wolfman WR2 with the WRH7 handle and this is the 90 millimeter handle solid. This is the mirror polished one and I don't know if you see this. This is a $700 razor. I know some people will say that's crazy and then I would rather have food and stuff but I saved up for this for months and then I took the money from my birthday and then I found it second hand so or second faced you might say. Um, so I got a couple of hundred dollars off so but it's still my most expensive razor to date. So here you have it the Wolfman WR2 with the WRH7 solid 90 millimeter handle. The razor is 106 grams and in it I have the super iridium blade on the second use. The show for today is this one here, the Tabachi. Uh, it's a cooperation between um, Master Soap Creations and the Razor Company. It's a dupe of um, Tom Ford's tobacco and vanilla. And you know that's my favorite scent from Sterling and my second favorite scent all in all. I still have the Purazzo Yellow as my favorite. Makes a wonderful leather. I'm using the Yachi Ringo 21 millimeter super soft um, silver tip. Uh, this is a heavy brother because it has the stainless steel bottom and then the solid uh, faux um, ivory. Um, so the ball is well, there's no markings, it's inside it. Is this from Hendrix Classics and Co? There you have them. I call this grey for urban war because it reminds me of the uniforms I've been using for urban war. So let's get this party started. So Oh man, the leather looks, I don't know if you see it, it has a, a grey tint, not a grey, a brown tint to it. Uh, it looks like melted chocolate ice cream, almost so. A wonderful, wonderful uh, scented soap. I get uh, more vanilla than I get tobacco um, with this. Um, I must, of course, excuse my Rudolph redness on my nose. A red sit. Wanted to participate in this shave. So there you have it. The blade gap, I forgot all about that. Good thing I wrote it underneath. Um, the blade gap is a 1.05 millimeter blade gap. So. Is the highest blade gap I have on a Wolfman. I have all the way from 0.54 and up to this. So here you have it. The balance point is right here, so it's very easy to use. Oh man, this is smooth. Of course, the soap plays a part. What I tell you, this is a smooth razor. I had a debate, a discussion, a conversation with Jim Wolchev about the Lupo being a copy of this. And if you look here, you can see the Lupo, that's the Lupo, uh, looks nothing like because these this has the four corner fangs 
uh, that the Lubu doesn't have. So nothing alike. So it's closer. It's not close, but it's closer to the WR1 model. But I would say even closer to the WR1 is the game changer. This is the game changer. So, but still, it's it's not there, not there at all. I just this is a fantastic shape. I spoke. Oh, it felt like I cut the sit there. Yeah, I think I did. Um, I spoke to Falker, and he says that in Germany. Uh, there is a saying about the Wolfman racer that the bigger the gap, the smoother the racer. So he goes for the point thirty five or the point forty five, and he finds this one point oh five gap. to be a little rough. I have no way of knowing which is which, but I tell you, you find the right blade, this is the Visimet of course, using the right, uh, correct blade, the right blade, oh, put the razors where this is supposed to go, I'm sorry. Using the right blade, using the right soap, you know, that's a game changer. You know, see, I did cut my sit down here. But you know what? We have gotten a little sun now. We even have plus degrees during the day. So the ice and the snow is melting. And that means that wherever your neck is, my neck, that is, of course, with clothes rubbing up against it and getting hot and getting cold because it's still cold during the morning and the evening I get small sits. My skin cannot figure out whether it's cold or it's not. So and it's actually neither right now. So I get small sits like my Rudolph sit on the nose. I tell you this soap is uh, four and a half, maybe five on the scent scale, and I don't actually, to be honest, get much tobacco. It's there, you know, in the background. Uh, I have the splash too, the aftershave, and I expect that to be more. Um, what's the word? Tobacco ish. To have more tobacco. See, I have hairs in all directions down here, so. What a wonderful, wonderful racer. I was so nervous when I got this, because what if I didn't like it? What if it was, was too aggressive or too mild? But it's right there. I would call it High end, medium, maybe even a little less than that. I'm not sure. No. High end, medium. No. Next Tuesday, I will be using my 100 millimeter handle, and that's 100 grams just for the handle. And I will be using it. Oh, that felt like a cut. I just made, made a sign winder there. Stupid. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'll be using the MR2, sorry, the MR1 with the 0.61 gap. So let's try to go against the grain again here. Yes, 
on the other side. Okay, and that's it. Oh, wait a second. We have a little down here, plenty of slickness. Let's see what way do I go here. It's, a it's every direction. You know, I have the festival hair, you know, hands in all directions and stuff like that. But that was great. That was fantastic. Let's, or let me not let's, I'll do the face washing here. And then I'm looking forward to the splash to see if that's more, a, a little more, um, just a little along here, just a little, to see if it's a little more tobacco forward because I don't get much in the soap. And a lot of people say that you get the true scent in the splash, that you shouldn't judge a scent by the soap. So here you have it. The tobacco, not tobacco, tabachi uh, soap. I cannot see if that's sharp. Um, this is, of course, witch hazel and rose water based because it's master soap creations. Let's see if you can hear that. See, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I love that noise. Okay. Yes. Milky white. It's right there in the middle. I get some tobacco now. Starts off in vanilla and then it comes into the tobacco in the end. Just as, as I predicted. Man, this is a great scent. I don't need a balm because this is Fernando's aftershave with all the good stuff in it. So let's have a sound test. Are you ready? Hmm. Okay, perfect the mundo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Sixono out.